I just arrived at Antique Marketplace of Lemoyne. There was an epic piece of pottery. I mean, epic. <laughs> and I had to have it, but alas, it had no tag. So they were nice enough to tag it for me, find the vendor, of course, and they've been holding for holding it for me here. I'm so excited. I can barely speak. Uh, I put so much energy into this thing <laughs> that I decided not to look it up. So it's got a certain look to it. It could definitely be worth a lot of money or it could be absolutely nothing. Either way, it's time to pick it up. So funny. I called the front desk before I left and I said, Hey, I think you're holding there something there for me. I just want to make sure it's still there before I trek up there. And they were, they were like, what is it? And I was like, it's an ugly lamb, like a wonderfully ugly lamb, though. And they said, oh, yeah, this thing that looks like it's covered in ramen noodles. <laughs> and I was like, that's definitely it. I will be there. So we have arrived. Let's go in and see what they got. There's been a lot of changes here. It's under new ownership. So there's a lot of different vendors. And I'm excited. Let's go in. It's freezing out. <laughs> Well, this is another one of my favorite booths. I ended up bypassing a few because uh, I just couldn't resist myself. I had to see what they restocked with. You know it's serious when I'm uh, putting my basket down. It just requires so much attention. <laughs> this is a cool candlestick set. And then the chalkware Scotty Dogs, Flamingo Tray. What's this? Interesting. Made in Mexico. That's kind of neat. It weighs a lot less than I was expecting. Unfortunately, I don't see a price on it. Not like that in love with it either. It's kind of neat. Italy. Well, that's neat. Don't see that every day. And that's 12 bucks after the discount. It's kind of big and bulky, but I feel like that's worth it. I'm gonna hold on to that. Yeah, I am super into the vibe I've got going on here. I've been super into, uh, like super duper into Italian stuff recently, more so than I used to even. Um, I'm gonna go back to the couple booths that I bypassed, but I feel really good about that base for 12 bucks. Caught a sneak peek of mushrooms down here. Oh, those are fun. Those are for all. I had one of those recently, you know, and it didn't do that well. I was surprised. Mine was even cooler. It had, like, glass pieces on it. What is happening here? It's like a koala taking another koala hostage. That's different. Eureka. What do we have here? Looks like a Lefton Valentine's Day planter. How much is it, though? $24. Hmm... It's not bad. It's definitely been repainted and has a little bit of wear. I'm being a little cheap today. People might be upset for me for leaving that behind, but I'm also eyeing these, pun intended. Wow. Vintage glasses are kind of hot, honestly, and hard to find, especially in this such good condition. Peerage Frame Austria and, uh, it only seems to be missing one teeny tiny rhinestone and because of the divots, you can't even really tell. These are very neat. For $12, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up. And then over here, this is what I see. Hey, that's cool. $8, Majolica plate. Hmm, I'm not sure how well that would do for me, but it's also like six bucks, <laughs> so kind of on the fence about that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, this is very cool. That's really different. It looks like it's wearing a crown. But over here, oh my gosh, I'm like trying to juggle this basket. It's the Poodles. $18 and 20% off. Well, that's kind of spectacular. That's a large one. That's uh, $18 and 20% off alone. And then look at this, like, Stife guy, or not Stife, you know what I mean. Uh, is it Stife? Miko. That's awesome. Uh, I'm very overwhelmed. Look at that singing bird. This I'm going to take, and I think I'm going to do a drop-off at the 
front because I don't want to damage the spaghetti. Here it is in all its glory. Totally worth it. That thing is amazing. All right, well, you guys saw my lamb. Now check these guys out. Those are sick. Again, I don't see any prices on them. I would rock the crap out of those. Check out this epic mid-century booth. The salt and pepper shakers are what I have my eye on. $32, so those are really neat. They're plastic. I don't think I could do much with those at that price point. Very 80s, I like that. Ooh, shell compacts. $12.99. $12.99. I've actually bought and sold these before. I don't remember how they did. I feel like one did well in one tank, kind of. This is kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of um, the Sleeping Beauty Witch Pitchfork. Now that is super pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at this doll. <laughs> $10.50. 10% off. She is unwell. Wow, I love her. <laughs> She's fantastic. I don't want to leave that behind. The only problem is my plush. I've really kind of tanked recently. That's a neat bell. So I'm trying to stay clear. It's a nice little inkwell. And oh, that, that's what I was looking at. These are this little owl. Not what I thought, but what is the ashtray behind it? I'm gonna remove this just to be safe. Made in Brazil. Oh, that's so cute, even though it's contemporary. Ooh, look at this shoe ashtray. I love that it's bejeweled. This has to be one of the best hobbyist pieces I've ever seen. <laughs> that's a person, at least. Smiley face scuba diver. <laughs> All right, well, the booth we're approaching, I found the most epic things ever last time. So I've already got my camera on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I found this. Oh, I'm so distracted. I found this giant Italian cat as well as a really neat vase that had some damage. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with that. But in the meantime, let's see what they restocked with. We were looking at this lamp. Mike and I, we showed Peter. This thing is so neat. And then this decanter is really cool. It's only $15. Oh my gosh, it weighs like 100 pounds. These are neat. Probably West Virginia glass. 28 bucks. And then look at this one. This decanter. Handmade in Czechoslovakia. $8.00 four glasses with it. Interesting. Uh, don't know where those went. But this kind of caught my full attention right now. Check out this perfume bottle. It's got a black stopper, so you know I'm kind of a sucker for it. Five dollars. Well, I'll take that for five dollars. That's a no-brainer. Very cool. And then over here, this clown bottle opener has a little bit of wear but it's pretty great. I feel like you could probably tighten that up a little bit. It's only five bucks, that's insane. Well, this kind of caught my attention too. This fish is very well done and it's engraved. It's 10 bucks, something France, art, something France. Well, that's cut crystal. 10 bucks, I think I'll take that. It's pretty neat. Little elephant, Boyd's elephant, if I'm not mistaken. 20 bucks. Oh, pinball machine is awakened. Awoken, awake. Oh, 25 for the head vase, she's missing an earring. That's not bad. And what do we have down here? I don't think that's a glower, but it's this vase actually. That's really neat, $5? I'll take that for $5, that's really pretty. What else is over here? Kind of on a roll. This isn't really my style, but it's pretty neat. 16 bucks. These are more my speed. $45 Imperial vase. 45 each, yeah, can't do that. What's going on with these guys over here? I already see a chip. 
Italy spaghetti repaired. Boo. What about this one? He's kind of ill looking. 15. All right, one last stop. Headed downstairs. This bird has a certain look, doesn't it? $9. Made in Sweden, too. It's kind of neat. I found some super cool stuff when I was here with my glass. Look at these owls. Those are fun. Not exactly what I had hoped, but let's see what else they got. This cat is amazing. It's like some epic piece of pottery. Yeah, Marcy Gates Dewey signed cat. Well, hello. Look at these elephants. Salt and peppers. Oh my gosh, they're so fun, but they're 25 bucks. This box down here is kind of different. 18. What's that hiding back here? Vintage perfume bottle. It's really pretty. It's missing its stopper. Whoa, check these guys out. Modern tin candle holders. Those are neat. Random Christmas angel hiding back here. $40. Finally, some cat situation. Let's see. Well, first, I love the Mossy Belly Gecko. 1950s, $20. There's a... I like the Lennox Crystal Cat on the pillow. That's only $14. Not sure how well I would do on that. I'm... I'm starting to feel shopped out. This place is so big. Um, yeah. A little overstimulated with how much things have moved around. Well, Jadeite Ashtray, 20 bucks. It's not bad. So I am going to go ahead and pick up this black cat. That's $8.50 and 20% off. Just want to make sure I'm reading the sign right. Yes, that's a definite. What about this sleeping one? That is Lennox as well, 28. I'll leave that. Hmm. $14. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm so into this weird gecko thing. $20. It's 20% off. I don't know, man. It's kind of epic. My gut's like telling me to pick it up comes to $16 and it's just something you don't see every day since I haven't done too much damage here and it's so unique I think I can get away with it well as I was walking away I was like perhaps my gut is wrong and I looked it up and I am in fact very wrong uh they're wrong too this isn't from the 1950s this is a contemporary item and they sell online for like seven to ten bucks so I'm putting it back and last but not least Niagara Falls, Canada, $16. It's got some crazy, and that's not bad, but again, I tell you, the price of true kitsch stuff has skyrocketed recently. Well, I was about to get my pretzel sticks and check out. Then I saw this thing. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah, if it didn't have, if it wasn't mixed matched, like if it had this globe, <laughs> For that price, I wouldn't think twice, but it's this that really attracts me. And success. I picked up my epic pottery lamb. I spent $149 in there and I am off.